Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today we are working on a Dometic air conditioner. We are at Burning Rock ATV Park here in southern West Virginia. I may uh, show you outside here in a minute, but let's go ahead and get into this one. Hopefully it's going to be a quickie. Um, customer says the camper has not been used for several months um, and it was only used a time or two even last year but what the problem is is the air conditioner won't run he says um, we're going to turn on here in just a second and listen I'd say we're going to hear the compressor come on but we're not going to hear the fan come on so um, thermostats right there let me cut it on y'all hang out here just a second and uh, we'll see what we see I didn't even turn the air conditioner on. I just turned the fan on. Sure enough, you hear you hear the relay on the control board click closed, and you can hear the fan hum. So let's get this cover off here. By let's, I mean me, because y'all y'all don't ever help. And uh, since this is a Dometic with a quick cool. We can uh, drop the little plastic plug. And then we can bend way over to the ground and pick it up. Um, since this is a quick cool, we can reach up in there and touch the fan. So, let's pull out the old Milwaukee drill and get this plastic off. Ooh, put her in low gear. Alrighty. Now, what y'all can't see is I can see the squirrel cage fan up in this hole right here. Let me reach up in there and see if it's stuck. Oh, she got a bee's nest in her somewhere. I do believe I felt some resistance. But it felt kind of soft like a bee's nest. Uh, let me try it real quick. We might have to go up and take a shroud off and get a bee's nest out of the way. Yeah, there's something in the way. Yeah, there's something up there. That's going to be interesting. Let's go on top and see what is stuck in the fan. All right, so here we are. We're going to get the shroud off and uh, see what's going on. Oh, yeah? Y'all maintain all the trails, too? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, you hate to see big storms, then, don't you? How many miles trails y'all maintain? Over 150. Over 150. Yeah. That's a lot. A little stick sticking out of the air conditioner might be a bird's nest. Don't matter to me. Bird's nest fairly new one. Still got green moss on it in it. There's your, there's your wasp nest. 
wasps going, you just tore my house up. Bird's nest. I knew it was, uh, I knew it was something soft. I just didn't know what. Hopefully there's no little birdies in there. No, I don't see any. Just the nest. Bunch of it in here though. Moist. And the moss is still green, so it hadn't been there that long. Some back in here, too. See ya. Bird's nest. She spins, spins free now. There you have it. When your fan don't fan, I, that just felt funny. It really did. When I went up, right up in there and spun the fan, I, I didn't know what was in it, but I knew it was something soft. I thought it might just be a bee's nest rubbing on a fan. Uh, but no, big old bird's nest, or I guess a bird's nest. But uh, here's a uh, burning rock. This is all camping down this way, uh, full hookup. RV park. Uh, how many spots you got here? Uh, 12 full hookup, five uh, electric only. Okay, so so 12 full hookup and five electric only spots. And if you own an ATV or a dirt bike or UTV, this is the place to come. Uh, I bet on the weekends this place is hopping. Uh, nice nice park it has always has been a really nice park that 150 miles of trails for the explore that should keep you busy for at least a couple hours I would think right but uh, yeah come check this out uh, while you're checking this out go down there in that comment section leave me a comment a criticism a concern and I'm gonna go up road and fix another one and y'all have a fantastic day well after I put the shroud back on <laughs> I might look, see if there's any more nests I need to pull out too. Catch y'all later.